Welcome to another university vlog, study vlog, whatever this is going to be. Um, I'm just about to head out the door, so I don't have too much time to talk, but we're finally turning towards some poetry this week in Renaissance. So I've read the poems through a couple times. I took some notes. Um, I'll talk more about them when I get back, depending on which ones we actually get to today. I know we're definitely gonna be starting off with some more history and stuff like that about the poems and stuff. So we'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, I have a little bit before I leave. I had a shower this morning, which I don't normally do, so my hair is still pretty damp, so hopefully it dries. Um, it's a really nice day. I think it's a good temperature. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. I just had a really good like maple French toast bagel, finishing off my coffee, and then I'm going to pack my bag and go. And I think I'm going to listen to an audiobook on the way this morning. I usually just listen to music, but I'm in a really good audiobook right now. I'm listening to Nevernight, so yeah, let's go. All right, I made it here. Um, it's a really nice day. And I think I'm just gonna go over my notes before I get in there. Um, and then, break so I decided to come out for a walk because it is beautiful um <laughs> but essentially I just got bombarded with a bunch of assignments which is fine but wow yeah so I already have an essay um two assignments and of course like general reading and notes so I think tonight I'm gonna sign up for one of the assignments and then I do also like I just want to have my essay topic so I can think about it maybe I should just run away from my responsibilities right now into the butterfly meadow I'm really thankful that this is here though like it's absolutely beautiful like I can't believe I've just been in class reading literature and then I get to come outside and look at all the bees and butterflies like what is this real? <laughs> um, so yeah. It is absolutely beautiful though. Wow.
All right, so I just got ready for the morning. Hi. Um, and I actually thought I would start on this one assignment that I was talking about yesterday. So um, I just opened the Word document. That's a good start. Basically, this Renaissance class is quite like we like I said yesterday. We already have so many assignments and tests. Um, our first test is next week and I'm gonna get started on this assignment first, I think. Basically what this one is about is like a critical article analysis. So we read um, an article like out of a list on some of the works that we've studied, like a scholarly article discussing something in either Utopia or Wyatt, which um, are the poems we read yesterday. So I think for this one, I'm gonna pick Utopia, although to be fair, like I really do not enjoy studying that work, but sometimes like, you know, the things you don't like studying, like you think, like you know them the best, you think you're good at them. I think I have a really good understanding of Utopia. Um, and so unfortunately that is the one I'm gonna pick because I want a good mark. And I feel like the article on Utopia is the one that I can best work with. So that's the one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna get started on it. Doesn't seem too bad, although the article is a little bit long, so I'm gonna have to read that. I think it's called like a seed. Let me, let me actually find it. I think it's called like a seed bed. A nursery, okay, it's called A Nursery of Correct and Useful Institutions on Reading Moore's Utopia as Dialogue. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> so that is what we're going to read. Um, and then I have to work with that article, not with Utopia itself, which is interesting. But I really like working with secondary sources and with articles. Um, I mean, that's what I love. That's part of the English degree I love so much. Then progress on the other assignment, which just got introduced yesterday. This one's basically like a word kind of language assignment where out of a different list as well, we get to pick like two word clusters or two word groups or just two words. Um, and then for the whole rest of the year, you have to keep track of those words. Um, write down every instance they pop up in the course material um, or outside of it and basically define the context people's attitudes towards it, how the word is being used, the historical context, the etymology, basically everything about that word ever, um, which is really cool. And I love opportunities to work more with like actual language. So the words that I got, I'm really excited because the first cluster is animal, beast, creature, brute. Those are my words. Um, so I'm gonna get to study animals and the words and um, people's reactions to animals, people's feelings to animals in the Renaissance, what those words actually meant in the Renaissance, um, and how society, the court, and people define the animal and creatures and beasts and brutes in the Renaissance, which I'm deeply just interested in animals over the whole thing. We know this. So it'll be really interesting to study, and I could even potentially write a paper on animals. <laughs> um, and then my other word is affliction. So I'm going to get to study two things I love so much, which is illness and animals. This is an English degree. Um, this is why I just love English degrees, because like everything we are is language. So you can potentially study everything and anything. I guess that is my mission for this semester. No, for the whole year as well. Um, it's going to be looking at animals and illness. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. But anyway, I'm going to get down to the last fun thing, which is starting on this Utopia assignment, unfortunately. And then I do need to read some more King Lear before class today. I only got 56 pages through. Thankfully, it's quite short um, and it's a play, so it's nice and like spaced out and stuff. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at today. And my other class is King Lear, so should be good too. But I'm going to get to work. This, uh, uh, <sighs> I suddenly forget how to write. Oh my god. Okay, focus. This is frankly embarrassing. All right, so this is the outfit for today. I really like it. I haven't had a chance to wear this dress yet. Um, actually, this whole outfit is from ThreadUp, the thrift store online, as well as the cardigan. I'm gonna wear over it because it's a little cold, but I think originally, I know my butterfly t-shirt is from Wild Fable. I kind of forget. I think this is from Madewell. I really, really like it. It has like buttons and then the back is like crossed as well. And then I found, I found this ring that my grandma gave me. A little leaf ring, which I thought was really cute. And then I'm gonna just plop on my very cozy brown cardigan again because I've been living in that thing, but we gotta go. So let's go.
I think I'm going to rearrange and clean off my desk today and then I would love to put this guy on my desk. Look at him. He's like a little haunted tree with pumpkins. So cute. Um, so once I clean off my desk and stuff, we will find somewhere for him to go because I, oh, I love him. I got this little pumpkin. This one's quite heavy. It's like, it's kind of like a gold um pumpkin and it's like really nicely textured but um i think it's supposed to be like a doorstop or a bookend or something so i'm just gonna put him beside this plant right now and yeah i really like him This is embarrassing. I just tried to get on the bus to go to class. Welcome to a new week. It's off to a bad start. Um, and my bus pass didn't work. So then I awkwardly had to get off the bus and now I'm walking home because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> um, I guess I have to fix it, but my class starts in 20 minutes. So, uh, feels bad. Off to a bad start, but. I don't know how I can possibly make it there in time. Like I can't walk, so. All right, it is officially get my stuff together day. Um, today's Friday, which means I don't have class and I have just been working on my assignment that I was talking to you guys about last time. <laughs> it's about utopia. Anyway, I just finished the first question after like three days. This is what it's like. I feel like I need to stop agonizing over every single sentence and like I really do that and it wastes time when in reality I could just probably write a sentence and it would be fine but I'm like wait you know maybe it could be better so I need to stop doing that because I just finished the first question and that was literally only not even 200 words so now I'm gonna move on to the next thing I don't think I even explained this so essentially this assignment is about well it could be about a bunch of different things I chose an article that was about utopia because that's the one I felt I could perform the best on, like I was saying. So basically you need to read this scholarly article, which is quite long, and then you need to like summarize it, talk about it, 
dissect it, discuss it, and then literally take it apart paragraph by paragraph and talk about what the author is doing, like point by point by point in order to create his article. It's basically just an exercise to make sure that you understand how to read um, research papers, how to talk about them, and how to write one essentially too, which is good. So now I'm gonna move on to, I'm gonna create a table and then I'm gonna go through the whole entire article. Um, I don't want to finish this today. I think maybe I'll just get done a few paragraphs going through it because it's not due until next week But definitely need to finish it soon. So yeah And then I have so many other readings to do as well as I want to go through my notes and like make sure they're good So very busy today Very busy today Hello, welcome to another rainy school day. So I'm about to head out in a little bit. It looks very rainy and windy out there, but today we are talking about John Donne. Um, Donne, John Donne the poet is someone I, like at uni, we've looked at a few times in my first year specifically, but um, now we're doing some different poems from him. So we're gonna be, I think, talking about valediction. Um, today as well as batter my heart yeah batter my heart um and then who knows what else but i finished my first assignment last night so um and that is for tomorrow it's actually due tomorrow so that's great i got it done didn't seem that difficult actually i feel like it was pretty easy which is either good or bad um i guess we'll find out so I'm gonna go through that, read it over, tweak it, and then print it off for tomorrow. So we got our first assignment of the year done. I'm very pleased with it, I think. So yeah. All right, I am heading out the door to write my first test of the year. I am really nervous. I'm actually really nervous for some reason. Um, but yeah, all I have today is the test and then I'm literally just gonna come back home. It's a pretty rainy day, it's raining a lot. The test is in my Renaissance module, so it's probably gonna be about Utopia, um, Wyatt's, Sir Thomas Wyatt's poems and ooh, maybe even the book of the courtier so only like three three or four different pieces but yeah i studied last night and this morning and i'm honestly feeling pretty good it's just like i'm out of practice in like the skill of being able to write a full essay in under an hour um so i'm quite nervous just about like that but anyway i need to go so wish me luck
Okay, so the test that I wrote ended up going really well. Um, I think I did pretty okay on it and I actually got back my assignment that I was working on um, that I handed in this week, so that was fast, but I did get ooh, the big 100% on it, so I guess it went okay. It went fine, what am I saying? Um, so that's really good, that's my first thing back of the semester, I guess, so that's nice. That's like a nice start, but um, as you saw, I already started researching my essay topic for this class um, and I think I have something like kind of drafted up a little bit, but choosing an essay is always the hardest part and like takes me the longest time for some reason. But for the Renaissance one, I think maybe like I'm trying to devise my own essay question. So we'll have to go like get approved and next week should be really fun because I'll get to get, I'll get to take you guys on a trip to the library too. So yeah but this week went really well aside from the little sidetrack with my test that i couldn't find the room and i was late to the test because i was literally running all around the building and trying to find the room and that was like harrowing it, i was a mess whoever has those like security camera tapes or whatever they must have been laughing very hard because i was like running throughout the building trying to find it in the end i found it but it was it was pretty rough I was like 10 minutes late. So anyway, I'm gonna sign off because today is Sunday. So tomorrow I'll start a new week at uni. Um, and I'm actually really excited about it because we're discussing Paradise Lost and the Fairy Queen and stuff like that. So I shall sign off, but I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.